Hello, thanks for coming. My name is Peter Ford. I'm vascular surgeon at UNC. Today I'm going to be talking to you briefly about aortic emergencies. As you're aware, the aorta is the largest blood vessel in the human body and has branches to all the major organ systems, including the head and neck, the upper extremities, the lower extremities, the gastrointestinal tract, the spinal cord, and the kidneys. The three types of aortic emergencies that most commonly present to vascular surgeons include traumatic aortic injuries, aortic dissection, and ruptured aortic aneurysms, and I'm going to be focusing primarily on the first two of these. Traumatic aortic injury uh, can occur secondary to blunt or penetrating trauma. Penetrating trauma tends to be due to gunshot wounds or stab injuries, and most often results in life-threatening exsanguination at the scene. Blunt trauma tends to most often be secondary to motor vehicle accidents and is also a highly lethal condition. It's estimated that approximately 80% of patients who sustain blunt aortic injury will actually not make it to hospital and will actually die at the scene. The most common location of traumatic aortic injury secondary to blunt trauma is located immediately distal to the left subclavian artery. Treatment options historically have consisted of open surgical repair, but recently there's been some enthusiasm for the possibility of uh, in using stent grafts as a technology to fix the injurious process. Uh, the basic tenets of stent graft repair for aortic transection involves uh, inserting a covered stent into the aorta at the site of injury and getting a seal to the normal aorta above the injury and the normal aorta below the injury. So one of the more exciting things happening at UNC at the moment is we're actually participating in clinical trials looking at investigational devices that can be utilized to treat this very serious aortic emergency. The new devices have significant conformability and have the ability and the capacity to exclude the injury. Aortic dissection is another aortic emergency that frequently presents to UNC. In general, aortic dissections occur when a defect in the intimal layer of the aorta results in translation of blood from the true lumen into the medial plane of the blood vessel. Aortic dissections can be subcategorized according to the DeBakey criteria or the Stanford A and Stanford B criteria, which is simpler and easier to understand, in my opinion. Aortic dissections are also subcategorized according to whether they are acute or chronic. Acute dissections, by definition, have been diagnosed within two weeks of symptom onset, and chronic dissections are any dissections that present beyond that time frame. The incidence is approximately 3 per 100,000 person years, and males are affected significantly more often than females. Acute aortic dissection is associated with a whole lot of bad stuff. Type A dissections can be associated with myocardial ischemia, aortic valve dysfunction, hemopericardium, cerebrovascular malperfusion, rupture, cord ischemia, or visceral or lower extremity malperfusion. Type B dissections, on the other hand, tend to be associated with either rupture, cord ischemia, or visceral or lower extremity malperfusion when complicated. Treatment options for acute aortic dissection depend on the location and the type of the dissection. Type A dissections are typically treated with emergent open surgical repair. Type B dissections, on the other hand, the treatment algorithm is heavily guided by whether malperfusion is present or without malperfusion. Patients who are without malperfusion tend to receive medical therapy, and patients who do have malperfusion tend to require some form of surgical intervention, either with stent graft technology or historically with open surgical technique. In this day and age, many patients are getting treated with stent graft technology, and at UNC we're participating in clinical trials that are looking at the utilization of such technology for this disease process. The goal of stent grafts in this setting is really to prevent true lumen to false lumen passage of blood and to facilitate thrombosis of the false lumen by preventing blood flowing through the proximal entry tear. So in conclusion, uh, stent graft technology has dramatically changed the way which we care for aortic emergencies at UNC. And we've actually discovered that the overwhelming majority of aortic emergencies are able to be successfully treated with stent graft technology. We look forward to working with you to help take care of your patients. Thank you very much.